Yo guys, what's up? Sure Goblin here, and on today's video, I want to give you guys a quick little update. So, today, while I was at work, I have been seeing y'all's responses and comments on my uh, video on Gomez passing away. And I wanted to let y'all know that it has been hard on me. I will, I will admit. But I've learned from growing up that it's something that's going to happen. And that's just the way it is. And there's nothing I can really do to change that. But all I can do is keep trying to move on and, and just remember him. So... I'm just going to make good memories with Angel and Lucy. Lucy was Gomez's sister, and Angel was the mother of those two. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have much of a bond with any of them had I not had a bond with Angel first. Because, see, when, I, when Angel first came, she was pregnant and... I kept on telling my mom that I didn't want her, I didn't care for her, because I had already lost a cat that very weak, and I hadn't moved on, and I hated Angel. I didn't like her at all. I despised her and just flat out just didn't want her around the house. I didn't think she was a good cat, but then something changed. She started sleeping with me a tad bit, and it got to the point where, while I was playing games on my computer, she would jump up on my back and sleep while I was laying on the bed playing games. So, over time, our bond got stronger and stronger to the point where, I mean... She would lay next to me while I was playing my video games on my Xbox and stuff. And she and I had this deep connection. Like probably most of you cat owners or dog owners have. And when she had given birth, I was there for her birth. And I was there to take care of Gomez and Lucy. And she was... Right next to me, giving birth, and she had three baby kittens, one of them which we gave away to a cousin of mine, but Gomez was, oddly enough, one of my favorite kittens, because he, every, there's a saying that cat that some people don't realize this, but cats, they do have personalities. And these two cats, they sure as hell did, including Angel. Anytime I would get home or from work and stuff, she'd always be so excited to see me. And so was Gomez. Lucy, not that much. I hadn't really connected with Lucy until a couple of years ago. But... With Gomez and Angel, they would sleep right uh, beside me, right next to me, and Gomez, he would lay right on top of me, unfortunately, to the point where it would be uncomfortable sometimes, and he got, he was a heavy cat, he wasn't, he wasn't light by any means, he was, he was fluffy, but, yeah, it's something I've had to learn how to cope with. I will miss him dearly, but I've got Angel, I've got Lucy, and I'm going to continue to make some good memories with Angel, and about three years ago, Angel and I didn't really see each other, well, actually, it was about two years ago that we didn't really see each other that often, she got to the point where she wasn't wanting to be around me. And then as soon as I started coming over more and feeding her more, because I started living here. But once I started started uh, coming over and feeding the cats, 
she started coming up to me and she'd always be so excited to see me. In fact, she and Gomez and Lucy would always come up the driveway to see to see me. And I'd always pick up Gomez because he was the heaviest, but he wouldn't really meow. He would just... And it's his way of talking to me and stuff. But I really don't know what it was that may have happened to him. It may have just been his age. He was around six or seven years old, so it could have been that. It could have been he got in a cat fight, or it could have been that he died of a heat stroke or something. I don't know. But I just, all I can hope was that it wasn't painful or devastating in any way. And so hopefully I will see him again later on in the future. But as for now, I'm just going to make some good memories with his sister and his mother and, and try and move on. So, but I appreciate everybody's concern and and it has been hard on me, especially at work, but I'm trying my best to move on and just keep on living. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. I will give you guys some more updates on Angel and Lucy. And I will show you guys where I buried Gomez, or where my uncle buried Gomez. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.